Good morning, everyone. This is Trish Miller coming back at you with sort of a let's try, sort of not a let's try. Uh, not sure what to call this. Uh, Royce tries birthday gifts from different places. Yeah. Look at this bruise I got from Clark. I helped Cal clip his nails last week, and he really that and that was him struggling against me. He didn't he didn't bite me. He didn't do but like he's a strong pup when he can bruise me, of course. I'm notoriously weak. I bruise like a banana. Um anyway. Uh so I got two different birthday items. The first obviously from the cracker barrel. And the second from our old buddies at McDonald's. So, these are the only two places whose rewards programs I was part of that were offering uh, uh, birthday stuff this year. Weirdly, Subway and, um, Subway and, uh, uh, oh, who's the one? Panda Express were not. I don't know. Um, when I was a kid, my mom used to take me to, uh, to, um, uh, uh, my mom used to take me to, God, what is it called? Uh, Who Hot? And for your birthday, they give you a free order of Cheesecake Rang Rangoon. So that was always fun. And then we tried making it one year at Grandma Cindy's house for Christmas. And, uh, I'm not sure, or, and like between... Effing up that and the stomach flu, I I had a miserable time that year. It was actually a good year overall. Um, that was the year we saw uh, Sherlock Holmes and Avatar in the theater. Anyway, so yeah, what are we? What are the two items we have? Uh, af an apple strudel pie and medium fries. Honestly, not too far apart, given that McDonald's also does apple pies. Oh, hey. It even comes with a little thing of ketchup. That's nice. Wish I had a little dippy thing like, the, like their normal sauce packets do. And to accompany this celebratory feast, I have here a virgin mimosa. It's just orange juice with ginger ale. It tastes really good. Um, I see why. Well, it's a little sour, but I see why people like mimosas because the champagne, or in this case. Yeah, Canada Dry Zero Sugar Ginger Ale really stretches and lengthens the orange sodas or orange juice so that it's more palatable. It's more natural tasting than orange soda, but it's more, but it's more, um, you know, uh, palatable as well on its own. I don't know. I'm tired. <clears throat> oh, that's. That's nice. Anyway, I've eaten, I've eaten McDonald's right so much, even on this show, I think. So let's try this apple strudel pie. That sounds really good. I tried to get their Coca-Cola chocolate cake, but it wouldn't let me pick it. I guess it's only specific items. Maybe they just didn't have any made. Look at that, that's a big slice, too. That's good. My fork is bent. Must run into a psychic. So, the weird thing about uh, Cracker Barrel's apple stuff is I 
Everything about it is really good except the apples. The apples are cheap, gritty, yellow apples. And with this, you, you either want to do an apple strudel or, or Granny Smith apples, I should say, because they have the body to hold up to bacon. Or, if you want to be a real mad scientist, uh, Red Delicious, and just let the apples melt into mush. So you're basically making an applesauce pie. People always hate on Red Delicious. Red Delicious apples are good. Like, I've had a really good crisp Red Delicious apple. The only real problem with them is they do get kind of mushy, and they have a much more leathery skin than uh, Granny Smith. Mm. It's a little sad when Walmart has a higher quality apple cobbler than you do. Well, actually, no, the, the ingredients in the apple cobbler are delicious, except for the apple. Like, if Walmart and, if Walmart and Cracker Barrel traded apples, it'd be the per, this would be the perfect apple cobbler. Especially with that crumb topping. Oh lord, this reminds me of a... One of the grossest TV shows of all time. Well, grossest TV episodes, I should say, of all time. Kids Next Door. Um, it's about a group of kids who use their, who use, um, improvised, improvised spy tech to fight adults, or injustices committed upon them by adults. So, like, the pilot episode was about the kids, uh, fighting against adult swim at the pool. Which, ironic, that episode debuted on Cartoon Cartoon Fridays in 1999, and then Adult Swim premiered not long after. Um, anyway... Uh, in one episode, there's a pink eye pandemic going around, and if a real school nurse does it to harvest the eye crust off the kids, because apparently the eye crust from pink eye is the perfect crumb topping for her apple cobbler, or her apple strudel. And it's implied at the end that she actually makes her filling using snot from the same kids. It's really gross, but, like, Kids Next Door has a, has a weird relationship with food where it only implies that sweets are any good. Um... I think this might actually be the first episode I've done since before the election, so. Y'all missed, like, y'all missed my depressive state. And honestly, it probably was just me not wanting to make videos. That, or it was just probably that depressive state was why I didn't make any videos, too. Um. My dad, grandma, and mom all... triple team me at my birthday dinner, all talking about, oh, well, <coughs> Republicans don't make fun of people for losing. And then <coughs> proceeded to <coughs> make fun of me for losing. <sighs> like, and then uh, I find out that my dad had only come down to c come up to where we were to hit on mom. 
not spend time with his son, to hit on his ex-wife, who literally got to the point where she, where his breathing offended her, because he would get drunk and scream at her and hit her and all this other stuff. <coughs> And, like, yes, he has sobered up, but you can't undo 20 years of abuse. And, like, even when Dad was sober, he and Mom were not good for each other. The fact of the matter is they're just two very different people. Oh, this is my birthday present for my cousin. He gave me the, uh... He gave me the Tyrannosaurus coin from his Power Ranger stuff. Huh. As, a, as a collector of novelty coins, I do enjoy it. <clears throat> I know, I know. Drink more water, but... It's... It's... A couple days after my birthday, but you know, we're still counting it. Um, my birthday dinner was actually pretty good, though. I bought scallops because, you know, um, <coughs> mom had mentioned that she'd get that she'd make scallops, and I bought them, so I got the scallops. Well, I PayPal her to get the scallops. And then, uh, what else? Um, <coughs> Mom made, uh, hash brown casserole with cornflake topping, which is, which is what led to that thing I put out about, like, what your favorite, uh, casserole topper is. I do love cornflake topping. It, it adds a nice sweet crunch. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, friend of the channel, Bryn Daniel, hates cor corn, corn flake topping. Um, <coughs> me. and of course you have breadcrumbs, which I think are the most neutral one. Like, a friend on Discord mentioned that she liked doing, uh, toasted panko breadcrumbs. Like, toasting the breadcrumbs and, toasting panko breadcrumbs and butter and then putting those on top. Which does sound really good. Um... And then, one that wasn't listed, but is kind of an underground one, let's call it. My grandma Nancy did once. Potato chip topping. She once did potato chip toppings for her hash brown casserole. And one bite was amazing. Three bites, it was too much. Like, there's just too much salt. Although, nowadays I actually do enjoy <coughs> putting a little salt and pepper on my, on my food. <coughs> anyway, um, and she also made the bacon wrapped scallops and the bacon wrapped shrimp. And my grandma Cindy made crab stuffed mushrooms. Uh, she used the mock crab, the imitation crab meat. But they were still really good. Like mom got these, mom got the good breadcrumbs from a Pillsbury, not um, Pepperidge Farm breadcrumbs, and it was they, it was just melting your mouth. It was so good. Then my dad brought some Dungeness. I made a little crab dip using some mustard. Uh, Mustard, sour cream, and cream cheese. Pretty decent. And then he had also smoked a turkey. Which I may try for you guys a little later. The rest of the dishes did not make it to here. Well, the crab dip did. But the rest of them did not make it to today. 
Because one, I've eaten most of them before you before. The only thing that I haven't eaten for you is the crab stuffed mushrooms, which I probably should have saved to show you guys, but look, this was this was for me. This was my thing. So, you know, I'm trying to take a little joy in my birthday, despite last week being so bad. Also, I'm glad I took this week to myself. I'm cleaning my apartment. I'm trying to organize everything. Hopefully I'll get this shelf in order soon. You realize that there's a moving box behind me still? Still full of stuff. With my clean clothes piled on top of it because I've had a bunch of stuff in front of my shelves. That's where I put stuff. Where I put clothes. Thirty-one years, almost halfway to retirement age, or in my years, probably about. If, if you were to graft my life, or if you were to shrink the normal lifespan to what my lifespan is probably going to be, I'm probably at retirement age. It's been a rough one. I was so ready to tell my mom, Trump is an idiot. Trump is a liar. Trump is, you know, people don't care about all the made-up bullshit about immigrants. They care about people. They care about the economy. But it turns out, no, people don't care about the economy. People don't care about people. People care about doing the most harm with what little time they have left on this earth. And it sucks. It sucks. <clears throat> it's a good thing I don't drink, because I probably would have accidentally poisoned myself by now. As if I'm not poisoning myself right now, right? <sighs> Gotta love my carcinogens. Uh, I'm assuming this has aspartame in it. Yep, aspartame. Here's to 31 years on this on this rock. It used to be habitable, habitable, but don't worry, we're taking care of that. It'll be uninhabitable soon. My worst birthday since 2016. At least that one. I got my PS4. Because I had just started full time. So I got my first big check. That was my 23rd birthday. Eight years later, still the same BS. Ugh. I gotta blow my nose and get back to work. You all have a good one, Mr. Roy Smeller. I'm outie. Oh, shit. I forgot to dedicate this to a fan. Um. This is dedicated to that guy who said that he unsubscribed, but might resubscribe. Hey, buddy. Here's looking at you, kid. I'm sorry. That was a long drive, okay? Go easy on me.